Hello. So this is a short video about how to make a pot with a hump mould. This is the mould that I used. I made it actually and it's very easy to make. It's made out of plaster and I'll do a video on how to make a, a hump mould because they're so easy to make. So you start off by rolling out a slab of clay that's large enough to drape over the mould and um, it's about probably about half an inch thick, actually probably maybe a third of an inch thick. So drape it over the mould um, and then just gently press it down onto the sides of the mould so it's flush against, um, against the side of the mould all the way around. You have to sort of bend the clay a little bit to get it to um, to drape properly and um, you have to be a bit patient with it but just kind of coax it around and make sure that it's sitting right up against the plaster so that the so that the 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 shape of the the bowl is going to be even there's not going to be kind of ripples or lumps in the clay when you remove it And then when it's been moulded around the, the hump mould, use a needle tool. I use a needle tool just to take off the, uh, the, a large amount of the excess clay. Just do it roughly to start off with because it's quite heavy and a bit awkward. So you just get rid of the majority of it on the first time around. And then I'm just making sure it's sitting flush against the mould there again. And then um, with a knife, actually I used a knife this time, just drawing the knife around the base of the mould, uh, cutting off the excess clay and being a little bit careful because it's plaster, um, you want to be a bit careful that you're not scratching off plaster as well and forcing that into the clay because you don't want plaster to contaminate the clay. And then just tidying it up a little bit, tidying up the edges. and then just smoothing down the surface, compressing the clay a bit. This clay is grogged clay, it's quite grogged clay, so it's a good idea to just run a tool over the surface to, uh, to smooth it out, to get rid of the, the grog texture, if you want to. You don't have to. If you want a grog texture, then you can leave it, but I wanted it to be smooth. And then I'm just running running my hand over it with a bit of water, not too much water, but just a little bit of water to really smooth it out. And really, that's it for the first stage. You just leave it to go leather hard, and then once it's leather hard, you can pop it off the um, off the mold very easily. I 
because all the well a lot of the moisture from the from the clay gets drawn out by the plaster so it comes away quite easily and then it just remains to tidy tidy it up and I'm using a trimming tool here along the top edge to smooth it off The clay that I'm using is um, Raku clay and it's absolutely lovely clay. It's really beautiful clay um, but it is quite grogged so um, I said before in a video that I made on um, slump mould which I can link to actually I'll put a link up in this video um, that I tend to use it for hand building rather than throwing on the wheel because it's quite tough on the hands. I know that some people use it to throw with, but I find it a bit much. I find it a bit raspy on my skin. So then, I mean, you can trim it in whatever way you like, really, whatever way works for you. I tend to use the trimming tool, and then um, I have a plastic card. I'm using a plastic card at the moment just because it's lying around. And... Um, and then once I've compressed it down with a plastic card, then I use um, this soft rubber rib. And as you can see, I'm smoothing the inside, I'm compressing the inside of the bowl as well. And then I just repeat the smoothing and compressing process on the outside too. And you'll see that once that the clay is compressed down, 
it's got a really beautiful finish. And I'm just smoothing down the top rim with a, a damp chamois leather. and a few little tweaks to finish it off. So I really hope you enjoyed that video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified of any videos that I've got coming up. Thanks for watching, bye.